Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into my channel, welcome. So, if you saw the video I just released, I'm getting ready, finally, uh, to get my gear uh, ready for a trip to Goat Mountain Astronomical uh, Research Station. So last night I spent three hours outside, uh, once it was dark, refamiliarizing myself with the uh, with the gear and the applications and um, making sure I had everything I needed uh, so when I do my trip everything's there. So um, this video though I want to speak about an issue I had um, or something I encountered with the Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box Advance. Uh, maybe some of you have already uh, dealt with this uh, so I'm going to share some of the behavior that I saw and what the known workaround is. Uh, but first, um, I love this uh, PPBA, I'm for short, uh, the abbreviation. And I just thought I'd show you the screen. If you haven't seen it yet, um, I have it connected to my uh, Jackery 1000. Uh, this is kind of the information panel that you get here. Um, and uh, here is uh, just some additional information. Uh, on the environment. Here's information on power. And, and what I wanted to speak to, the reason um, I got the Jackery was because of the regulated 12 volt uh, DC uh, versus the first power station I bought, uh, primarily based on price, the Massimo 500. Uh, this line here would be uh, not as steady uh, because it's an unregulated uh, 12 volt uh, DC port. Um, and um, I'm not using their focuser, but uh, pretty cool little device. But I did run into an issue, so let's uh, let's dig into that. Um, and if you go to Pegasus Astro to their forums, um, and then you'll see this line here on products. There's the uh, Pocket Power Box Advance, and and we'll. Click on this one here, USB port 1 does not work. Um, that's kind of the issue I ran into last night. Um, it kind of works, uh, and um, that's what I want to go into a little bit uh, about right now. And um, so I've just got my test bed inside the house right now, but basically what we're talking about is this uh, port down on the lower left. Um, so if you get into this uh, information here, uh, there'll be some information and at the end of the day it kind of has to do with the chip uh, that you find in, in the camera. Uh, also in the, some QHY cameras as well. I might have been a chip from Cypress Semiconductor. I'm not 100% uh, sure. Uh, but basically the workaround is you plug, I have the ASM294 uh, um, monochrome, uh, so the procedure would be don't have your camera powered up and plug your camera into port 1 of the uh, pocket uh, power box advance and then turn on your camera and then your software will recognize uh, the camera, or at least I'm using Nina. I'm using a particular build, uh, nightly build of Nina. Um, if you have the camera powered and you plug it into port one, uh, it will not be recognized. Now, so that's kind of a workaround, but what I'm finding out is I like to use this little hub on the back of my uh, 294 uh, monochrome uh, pro camera, <clears throat> and while I can get the camera to be recognized attached to port one, my filter wheel and my focuser um, will not be recognized. So, you know, I didn't necessarily know that going in. I knew there was a potential issue with uh, port one as it related to some Z ZWO cameras. <clears throat> okay, I've experienced it. Um, I know what the workaround is by reading the forum. 
the information is here. Um, I believe if you go to the ZWO site, you'll find information about the, uh, the chip. Uh, and the easy workaround is don't power your camera, plug your 294 into port 1 on your power box advance, and then apply power to your camera, and then your camera will be recognized by your software. Uh, but it seems to me that I'm totally unable to pass through these uh, USB 2.0 uh, devices uh, through that port 1. So what I have done is I am using uh, another port. Uh, I'm basically using uh, this port, port 2, for my ZWO uh, 294. And then it's a USB 2 port, as I understand it. But it then will recognize my uh, filter wheel and my uh, EAF, uh, ZWO uh, automatic uh, focuser. So um, <clears throat> let me see if we can just uh, replicate this a little bit. Uh, that might be helpful. So again, I like the product. It's going to serve a useful purpose for me. A uh, little disappointed I can't pass through or it does not appear I can use the hub portion of my camera when I plug my camera into port one of the PowerBox uh, Advance. Um, I feel like I'm kind of losing one of the four ports, but uh, based upon what I need to have attached to USB, uh, I'm okay. So let's, uh, let's kind of bring Nina up now. And so um, I'm using the uh, nightly build. This is uh, nightly build 1.11 uh, number 121. And so let's see, right now I have um, the ZWO camera uh, plugged into port 2 and um, as you can see here I have my uh, focuser is uh, recognizable filter wheel and the camera so that's all good now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna disconnect these devices my camera my filter wheel and my focuser. Okay, and, and now I am going to disconnect the power to my camera. And now I'm gonna move from port two to port one. Okay, now I'm in port one, the USB three port, and now I'm gonna power up my camera. Okay, I'm going to go to my camera. I'm going to scan. As you can see, it recognizes it. And I can power it up. So right now I'm powering my ASI 294mm monochrome pro camera through uh, port number one on the Pegasus Astro power box, uh, pocket power box advance. Okay, good. But now when I go to the filter wheel and I scan, it says no filter wheel. So I go into my options here and I say, oh, all right, let me try this one. And what you're not seeing right now is in the lower right hand corner of my desktop is a pop up error that says an ASCOM driver interop exception occurred. This is most likely caused by a mismatch between the driver being installed as X86 and Nina being X64. Please install the driver as X64. Well, I've gotten to both ZWO, ASCOM. I believe all my drivers are updated. Um, uh, but uh, so let's uh, let's move on. So it doesn't recognize that and let that. Uh, oh, so here. So you select number two, uh, you try to attach, get the same error, go to the focuser, uh, scan, uh, look at what the options here, I've got focuser one, get the error, focuser two, get the error. 
So this is saying to me, and part of this video is to ask others for help if you're able to make this work, I would like to use those USB ports on the back of my ASI 294MM, um, but uh, it doesn't appear to allow me uh, to do that. So now let's, um, let's disconnect the camera. Okay, and then let's uh, move it back into port two. Okay, and I just did that port move now with the power on. So the workaround is to connect the camera to the USB port and if you want to use port number one and then apply power normally you should be able to have your camera powered up and plug into the USB port which I've done here I had the car, uh, camera under power and I plugged into USB port 2 so let's see what happens here and let me clear all my errors over off my desktop I should have uh, enabled you to see that okay no camera scan gives me an option, sees, it, uh, sees my guide scope camera, I'm connected, fantastic. Go to filter wheel, scan, it recognizes the filter wheel, fantastic. Focuser, scan, recognizes the focuser. So, when I am using port 1 with my ASI 294mm uh, monochrome pro camera, if I use the workaround of plugging the camera into port number 1 first and then apply power to the camera uh, as, as uh, identified in the workaround, the uh, application sees my camera I'm in good shape however I lose the ability to use the USB ports for my filter wheel and my focuser uh, in this scenario so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run in the USB 2 port and then it sees my focuser and it sees my uh, filter wheel um, a little disappointing I am not sure yet of what the ramifications are of not being able to use uh, uh, port number one. Um, but again, I have enough USB ports even in this configuration uh, to make everything work. And just a little uh, note, when I was uh, setting everything up last night, I, I couldn't get the uh, my uh, EAF, uh, my focuser, to be recognized. And so I'm troubleshooting and troubleshooting it. And then I realized I didn't have a USB cable attached to it and it, and it in a USB port. So um, clearly uh, I need to have a checklist of uh, connecting all my ports. I spent a little time, I probably spent 20 minutes trying to sort that piece out. So anyway, um, again, my bottom line is I like the uh, Pegasus Astro uh, Pocket Power Box Advance. Uh, it does present me uh, an issue when it comes to leveraging my uh, ASI 294mm uh, camera to its fullest, uh, but I'm able to uh, use a uh, port number two instead of port number one and still have enough other uh, USB ports to, uh, to make it happen. So I'm positive on, uh, on the purchase. Um, but I just thought it'd be helpful to share my experience with you in, in the event you're uh, considering uh, one, of, one of these uh, pocket uh, power uh, box advance. And if there is a way for me to be in port number one with my camera and still have the EAF and the focuser, which are attached to the back of my camera, uh, be recognized, I'd sure appreciate any tips on that. All right, so last night was a good night. I'm going to be back out there tonight. Clearly, I needed to refamiliarize myself with uh, the screens uh, in Nina. 
uh, my polar alignment using my uh, QHY uh, pole master worked beautifully, uh, fantastic, uh, no issues there. Um, the draw on the power station was pretty uh, light. Uh, I really need to get a full night of uh, scanning uh, to evaluate just what the actual drawdown is. I expect I need 38 amp hours, uh, but you know I want to prove it by uh, actually uh, doing it. Um, so that's good. So everything's looking pretty good. I'll do some additional work tonight. Um, I fortunately uh, had, I log a lot of things in a log book, uh, so I knew where my filters were. Uh, and uh, it's all kind of coming back to me slowly and I had the best calibration uh, of my uh, mount with uh, PhD uh, the calibration was just spot on I've never seen it that good so um, you know uh, that that was positive anyway uh, hopefully this information was helpful uh, if you like this kind of content please give it a thumbs up as always uh, Comments and questions are appreciated, and uh, thank you for dropping it to the channel. Uh, other than that, till next time.